So we started on this project four years ago. I've been involved with agriculture for a number of years and was spinning around in my head how you could use this and you know, what is something that's lightweight that would have an agricultural application. Somehow the idea came about doing pollen because it's very light. So we started on this project four years ago and it's developed over the last four years until we've come across this. Before, it was all done with potentiometers, which are very heavy and took a lot of packaging. And just by chance, I met Chip from Parallax up at the Farm Bureau. So we ran into a problem where we had a design that wasn't quite working, that was very cumbersome, and we ended up taking it up to Chip's shop in Red Bluff, and he was able to look at it and immediately determine what device they had at Parallax that could fulfill our needs in this agricultural product. And within, I would say, three hours of my pilot Michael and I being up there with him, he was able to get the thing working, which was just amazing. So what we have now is using a Parallax chip that's programmed by Michael, our pilot, who has no programming experience at all. And we're both older guys, so we're not used to doing this, he was able to learn how to do this in an afternoon. And because of this chip, and because of chip and parallax, we're able to go through and he put this in a sequence that makes sense for the machine on how to operate efficiently. So it turns on the slinger, it opens the trap door and the auger feed, so there's no loss of material. So what happens is we get to where we're gonna pollinate over the top of a row, the spinner turns on, which moves the pollen out towards the vortex of the blades. The trap door opens, and then the auger starts to turn. Um, we set a predetermined ground speed. We can change any of the parameters on the auger or on the spinner to calibrate it however much material we want to put out in the spread, and then fly down the rows and apply our material at about eight feet above the canopy, um, which is probably one of the more difficult things people have done with drones in a commercial setting because we're in an orchard, there's trees, there's telephone poles, so there's a, not a lot of room in eight feet to compensate for issues. So it has to be very precise and our ground speed and all the, everything has to be calibrated and be right on. And it's, it's worked amazingly. It uses low power and it was very simple to install. The other thing is, is we've got some updates we wanna do with it and just by adding a few little components, we're gonna be able to make this much user friendly so anybody can use it. And we're farmers, so we need something that's very reliable and easy to use and it already is and it'll be simple to make it even more useful. It's an agricultural operation, so you know we've had this thing out where it's 35 degrees up to 100 degrees, so it's gotta be able to handle temperature extremes, plus you know the material pollen gets, gets everywhere. And the thing to remember with um, pollination or bloom, your window is very narrow, so everything has to work because you can't afford to miss a couple days. And if you miss a week, your whole season's over and you've done nothing. It has to be durable and, and has to work. And it does, it does a great job. Awesome. And they've been, they've been just super helpful. I can't, I can't say enough about their assistance that they gave us throughout this whole project and it's been invaluable.